but let's move. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Concord. Uh, I've already talked about this before, but there was some interesting uh, news in here about uh, about a few things. Uh, this is from uh, Video Game News VGC. Uh, first look, Concord is breaking new ground, and it's in how live service games tell stories. Uh, so there's a reason for the tepid reception came down to a few things first, and this is kind of talking about, uh, Concord made its debut and I had a very mixed reaction mostly because, you know, it's like, Oh, it's a Marvel. It's like the most derivative thing ever. It's like a Marvel style writings, uh, you know, trailer into a, uh, five V five team shooter. So it's like, all right. So it's the movies from, uh, from last year with the, you know, games from last year. Everything's just sort of a, the a trends that have already been done uh, to death. And then, so they talk about the trailer. The, that moment is just a thin slice of everything. So they're kind of like doing damage control that for Sony here. Uh, that moment is such a thin slice of everything being worked on uh, for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP and to get the game in people's hands. And then they're just talking about, they, they do, uh, you know, they kind of polish, try and polish, uh, uh, the game up. Uh, I don't know if they do a great job. Like I was watching some of the gameplay on this. It doesn't look that exciting, unfortunately, uh, for them. And I think the characters themselves just really aren't exciting either. Everything about this game just seems so, uh, just so boring. You know, it's like well done, but so unexciting that uh, it's almost amazing that it has this much money behind it. So there's one thing I want to show this picture. Where was it? Here we go. This is one of the new guys that were showing off at their little like a uh, press uh, press thing. This is Daw. It's a uh, he him. I mean, look at this. This is their character that they're making. Just like fat guy, boring, like smiling face, but apparently is like a healer. You know, like uh, TF2, you had the medic, which had like a character to him, kind of like a weird, you know, crazy scientist. This guy just looks like, I don't know, he's like a janitor with the, these gloves on. Like, here's my janitor suit. I'm going to, you know, glee, clean a toilet for you at the, uh, at the elementary school. Make sure these, uh, these toilets are clean before, uh, the kids get here. This is this is their character design. It's just amazingly bland. And this is like millions upon millions of dollars behind it. This is what they came up with. Hey, good morning, J Double B. Good to see you. Now this th this is what really just shocks me about Concord. It's like you get me. People can say, "Oh, pronouns woke." Uh, this is just boring. Like what? What is this? What is this guy? This is a this is a character. This looks like an NPC. Honestly, this just doesn't have the playable character kind of look to it. Yeah, it does. And then like it does have like very feminine features to it as well. Like Roadhog. I mean, you look at Roadhog. He's fat. He's a fat dude. But you look at him, and then you see you're like, all right, this guy uh, kind of cool. He's got, you know, he's fat, but at least, uh, you know, he looks like he's like, you know, he's a biker. He could, you know, looks like he might be able to like, kill somebody. You know, he's kind of like got a style to him, like a fat biker dude. That's kind of a, a trope. You know, tropes aren't, you know, bad necessarily. Uh, they can like help us understand like, like who this guy is at a glance. Meanwhile, this guy, like, who, who is he? He doesn't look like anybody. This guy stands out, at least. You know, he's fat, but, you know, in, like, a cool way. As cool as, you know, fat people could be. Like a tough, like, strong, don't mess with this guy. He's going to mess you up. Uh, this guy does not look like he's going to mess you up at all. You would never be afraid of this guy uh, if you sat next to him. Yeah, You probably wouldn't notice this guy if you sat next to him. Uh, like, in a, like a bus or, you know. Well, met, met him in like a CVS. <clears throat> He'd probably be behind the counter. But there, 
let's continue on in Concord. Th- this is. Uh, this article was the only uh, only thing was like a, towards the end, uh, which you know PC gamer because then they all these companies since it's Sony it's a Sony game they invited them to the studio to try it out and play it. There's a ton of nepotism or not nepotism, but you know they the video games journalism does its best to keep people that they know happy. Uh, he deserves two seats. <laughs> exactly. He he needs that entire bench to himself. But they they spend the whole article like talking about it, you know, just again, just giving them free press or like good press. But you know, it at the very last paragraph, he actually has to like kind of be kind of a uh, fair, I guess. And this is one thing about Concord that hasn't clicked for me are the characters' personalities. Developers emphasize that despite their uh, fantastical sci-fi backgrounds, these are just regular people, a a bit too regular. And this this is like he hit the nail on the head. A bit too regular, maybe. It's like the Hitchhiker Guides of the Galaxy, but instead of neurotic electricities, we have a guy who likes hot sauce and a sentient robot who develops who developed normal personalities. Firewalk plans to produce we the cutscenes and characters evolve so we could see where it goes. But I, I sure hope that the feverish fandom developed around this cast of Space Bitfits, who actually seem pretty well adjusted in part uh to uh fuel spend on cosmetics. <laughs> That's the other thing. They they said the only monetization is gonna be cosmetics for for their game, which I mean is good is good game design, but it's like holy this is this is the guy you're gonna buy cosmetics for, like, what the hell? Their characters are so bland. Oh, I can get a Moo Moo outfit for this uh, fat dude. I don't know what Kirby dress him up as Fat Inuyasha. Like what? What cosmetics am I gonna want to buy for this fat dude? Really, like, what what the hell? It's probably gonna be like some like tepid meme or something, like Big Boy or r- written on it or something. That's it's awful, but this I think this guy really hits the nail on the head with the fact that like yeah like this is supposed to be like a uh, group of like space mercenaries that do what they needed to do and like everybody has like this super well adjusted normal personality like his uh this guy's quirk is he likes hot sauce you know the the chameleon dude I don't know if you you've probably seen the trailer if you've watched my other videos I'm not gonna go over it but like whoa what a quirk what a quirky guy. He likes hot sauce on his stuff. Crazy. And then, like, this is uh, the star child, the big guy in the back. You know what? He's, he's you know, awkward. He doesn't, he's about honor and, like, oh, this is not an honorable death. Oh, that, Stick do not. Together. If you let, let go, go I swear me. I will be. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, do not let me go. I will kill you. And then this robot, just like a normal, normal guy robot. Crazy, super interesting, very. I can't wait to find out more about these guys. But hey, there's a mil- gazillions of dollars poured into this, into this uh, game. Uh, money well spent, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll do well. Uh, honestly, if Concord does well, I will be shocked. I will honestly be shocked. It'll be a marketing. Uh, whoever marketed it will deserve a Pulitzer Prize or whatever prize marketers get because it'll be amazing because with this with what they're working with I good luck I, I just don't know I just cannot see who the audience for this game is like hipsters that like boring sh- 5v5 shooters I, I don't know I what is this game it just continues to be an oddity and that's really I don't like particularly like or dislike it I'm pretty neutral on it it's it just to me the the most interesting part of Concord is like, who, who is it made for? <laughs> but let's let's talk about a man that is interesting. 